since 1997, this company has been manufacturing a lot of fiberglass and aluminum parts for boats. And welcome back. We have changed locations on you. We're now in Lake Placid, Florida at CNM Marine Products. And I would like to real quick introduce you to the owner who's right over here. This is Mark Winslow. Hi, John. How, how are you, Mark? I'm good. Doing good. I was going through your catalog, Mark, and I noticed that you make a lot of fiberglass parts. You have rocket launchers and leaning posts and center consoles, mm -hmm. but I also noticed that you make some seating. Do you have anything here in the showroom that we might be able to use? Because Bill Higman from Fiberglass Coatings was saying that an existing fiberglass part might be a really crucial, integral kind of way to design a plug for something custom. Sure, sure, John, right behind you here. I've got a fiberglass bench seat that we build. Uh, we usually sell these to guys that want to put them on their docks. Uh, they even guys are buying these for small skiffs. Some nice seating there for a little boat. How comfortable? It's oh, very this comfortable. Seat is this? Feels good, doesn't it? Boy, that's really nice on the back. It is. How wide is it? It's 42 and a half inches at the footprint. That's probably going to be a little bit too wide. It could be a little bit too big for yours, but uh, I think we could do something still with it. Uh, the boat's out back. You want to grab it? We'll walk it out back and good idea. Take a look. Your seat, Mark, is definitely wider than the opening that we're trying to cover. What do we do to the fiberglass part in order to make it a little bit narrower? We're going to have to cut this down, John. Like we said, this is 42 and a half. Our opening is 34 and a half. So we're going to be cutting eight inches out of this. All right, now we're going to have to pull both of these pieces back together. What are we going to do to tab them together temporarily? Just to temporarily, just to hold them together, we're going to use a product called Duraglass. Okay, this is just going to tab them together. We're going to get it kind of close, okay? And that's going to work for this. But we need it to be strong. It will okay? be. Even though this is a plug, we need it to actually yeah. hold some weight. So will we do any glass work? Yeah, once we get done with that and we're very comfortable with what we have, we'll take it into the spray booth and then we will fiberglass it back together. It'll be as strong as it was before. Can we slide the seat sure. forward? Sure. I want my bench seat, which I do want something to go all the way across the back of this boat to cover that lift. Right. Okay, but take a look at how much of a gap we have between the back of the seat and my tow rail right here. Mm -hmm. Also, take a look at the height difference. This is much higher than the tow rail. And here's my challenge. Mark, if we okay. cut this part down from the backrest, mm -hmm. okay, what I like right now is where it's landing on somebody's back. Right. When you hit the throttle, you're not going to get snapped back in the whiplash. Right. Okay? If it's so shorter, somebody could kind of get hurt. Is there any way that we could cut it down maybe sure. four inches or so so that everything's level at the base? Yeah, we'll cut it from the bottom rather than the back, like you said. So we want to leave that because that's very comfortable right now. So once we get it down, we're going to probably drop this down about three quarters of an inch from where it is, like the four inches plus another three quarter. That way, when we add the, our MDF board to the top of this, it's, it's even, it's right where we want it. Okay, before we get into that special board, I want to talk about the dead space that we're going to have from this point to this point. Is there any way that we could maybe have oh, yeah. some type of a dry box here? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll put maybe on the box. sides we could have some coolers uh, as well. A couple coolers on either side. We'll put a storage box in the middle. That way, you know, put the, the, the wife can put a purse in there. You can put your wallet and your keys and stuff in there, sure. Okay, well, this is raking downward, mm -hmm. and we want everything to kind of match up. We have, we have a crown in that tow rail, and you were talking about MDF board. What is it? Is this MDF board, this is stuff is it's true, it's straight, it's hard, um, it's great product to work with, easy to sand, okay? And we're going to use that to, to bring the top back to this level here, and then we'll be able to sand it in. When we get done with it, it'll look like it's a part of the boat. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about how a fiberglass part comes out of a mold. You have to have something called draft mark. Draft. If you have the top of your mold going in this way, Okay, yep. you can't pull the you part won't be out. Able to pull it. it has to open up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if we were to take two or three of these benches, okay, and put them together, I'm noticing that at the base, yeah, they'd fit at the bottom, okay, but you'd have a big gap at the top. Maybe sure. that would, you know, your keys get stuck down there, your wallet. How do we get these things closed up? Once we put this board in, we'll probably bring this almost at a true 90 degree on both sides of it, and then we'll fill the top in. But at the top, where you're gonna have about a three quarter of an inch gap. We'll use this product called a polyester filler. It's a fairing compound. It's nice, it's soft, easy to work with. That's what we're going to use to fill that in. 